Welcome to the Linguist Link training for requesters. Today, we'll be covering the following topics. Logging into Linguist Link. Navigating Linguist Link. Email notifications. Requesting a project and tracking a project. Let's get started. What even is Linguist Link? It's the easiest way to manage language access requests and projects for schools. Our online portal makes it simple to schedule translation and interpretation jobs, connect with qualified linguists, enable easy communication, monitor project progress, and anything else to make your school more accessible for English learning families. The Linguist Link process enables all system users to easily collaborate on language access needs. The Linguist Link users consists of 1. Requesters, usually consisting of staff, teachers, secretaries, or anyone who needs to request language access services. 2. Schedulers, the person who receives the requests, makes assignments, monitors everything and communicates with everyone. 3. Linguists, the qualified translators and interpreters who accept and confirm assignments. Let's get logged in and I'll show you how it works. Your district's language access coordinator should provide a link for you to set up an account. If your organization uses the Google Workspace, you can sign on using your organization credentials. Once you're in, let's navigate through the system. First, you can update your profile information by going to My Profile. Update your photo, email address, change your password and more. Next, let's check out My Inbox. This feature allows you to view all of your messages about any project in one place. This is handy, especially when you're looking for completed translated files or other important communication. You can easily reply to any message and track any conversation that you had regarding that project or assignment. Check out how I can go directly to the project from a message by clicking this little down arrow and select Project Details. Now let's go to My Projects. Go to My Projects to see all of your projects and their statuses. You can easily filter by date, status, type and more. See how this project number is read? That's because it's marked as a rush job. By selecting View, I can get to the project information page. Another place you can get valuable information about a project is the My Assignments page. From this view, you can see details about each language that is completed for each project. Think of it as the Details view. You can also easily sort this information by date, linguist, language, and more. Email notifications are an important way to stay in the loop. You will receive emails when status changes or messages are sent for any requests. Make sure you add no-reply at linguistlink.net to your safe senders list by adding to your contacts. Now we know our way around Linguist Link, let's make a request. To start a project, click on New Project from the menu. You will see a list of options. Please note that it's important to select the right service you need. For example, if you need someone to communicate orally in a meeting, select Interpreter. If you need written text transferred to another language, select Translation. Once you're ready, select New Project. Now you will complete the form. First, enter a name that will identify the appointment, such as the name of the meeting, in the Project Name field. Next, enter any helpful details about the appointment that will help the interpreter prepare for it, such as the agenda, topics, participants, etc., in the Description field. Be as detailed as possible. If you have any helpful attachments that can be shared with the interpreter, you can upload them in the Attachments field. Select the date and time of the appointment in the Appointment Date field. Select the duration of the appointment in Hours in the Duration field. Select the type of meeting from the Meeting Type drop-down menu. If the meeting is in person, provide the name or number of the room in the Room Info field. If the meeting is over the phone, provide the phone or dial-in number in the phone slash dial-in number field. If the meeting is virtual, provide the meeting link in the meeting link field. If you have any additional information that might be helpful for the interpreter, such as instructions, preferences, or special requests, you can enter them in the meeting link slash notes field. 
Last, you will enter the location of the appointment, the school, and then the category or meeting type. Once everything is complete, click Next. On the next screen, you will select the language or languages that you need. Click Next to complete the custom fields, such as parent slash family information, student information, and requester information. Click Next to review the information and click Submit to send the request to the scheduler. You will be taken to the Project Information page, where you can see the status of your request, post messages, and receive notifications. Checking in. How are you doing? Take a second and breathe. You can message the scheduler directly. This is a direct message to the scheduler that is only seen by the scheduler. You can use this option to ask questions, make changes, or provide feedback to the scheduler. Only the scheduler will see this message. You can also post a message on Message Everyone. This is a message that is seen by everyone involved in the project, including the scheduler and the linguist. You can use this option to share information, request clarifications, or collaborate with the project team. Do make sure you have included as much detail as possible in the description. Don't skip adding an attachment, even for interpretation as it can help the interpreter come prepared. Do give plenty of notice for each request and avoid submitting rush jobs when possible. Don't forget to include the link for any virtual appointment. Don't share any private information. Do communicate any questions slash changes slash updates with message everyone. Don't miss any emails in your spam by not adding no-reply at linguistlink.net to your contact list. Do leave feedback for your interpreter. We're here to help. Just email support at linguistlink.net and our team will answer any question. Thanks for using linguistlink.net.